Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari and on here we talk about various types of fragrances. Today I want to talk about my Navitus Fall fragrances. If you are a returning subscriber and you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. This is the time. Go ahead and subscribe. And to all of the new people who are watching me, I'm just not coming up on your feed. I hope you like what you see. And if you do, then subscribe, share my content. And again, we're going to talk about fall Navitus fragrances today. All right, I don't want to waste any time. I want to jump right into it because we have a total of seven fragrances to get through. And these are the ones that I currently are enjoying right now. These are not uh, all of the fragrances that I have from Navitus, but these are the ones that I think that you ought to pull out if you happen to have them for the fall. So let's start off with our very first one. Our very first one is going to be Absolutos, right? This one here... And as you see, I have it in the old package. You're going to get a burst of bergamot and crispy green, like a crispy green note, like a leaf, like a fresh fall leaf note in the opening, right? And then it's going to kind of move on. It's a great transitioning fragrance. It's going to move on to like this calming lavender note and chamomile. And then right when you think that the fragrance is going to just be a typical little green, uh kind of leafy fragrance then you get this gorgeous sandalwood oh god gorgeous sandalwood and like an earthy patchouli like wet almost like a wet uh day like after it's rained outside it's kind of breezy that smell that's what you're going to get but for me it is simply a gorgeous bergamot lavender it, it does have a bit of amberish note to it. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's in the notes or whatever. And um, and you can always look that up and see. But to me, this, this is like an easy reach for the fall. And that is Absolutos, right? My next one I'm going to get into, and this is when they kind of moved. And again, we, we're going to go from probably old packaging to new packaging because I've been with them for a while. I've been purchasing products for them for a long time. Uh, this one here is Emperel, Emperel, right? This one, this one can lean possibly a little feminine. Not saying that a man can't pull this one off because I really think that you can pull off any fragrance. But this one is, is going to be like a peony note. It's a peony of bergamots and velvet rose. Like a soft rose. A rose that you would get from the uh, florist, right? When they freshly cut and the, and the leaves are like buttery soft. That's the rose petal nose, rose that you're going to get in here. And then you're going to get this like intoxicating jasmine note. A bit of amber, but mostly like musk, like clean skin musk. It's so cozy. <laughs> this one is so cozy. If you have this in your collection, I think you ought to pull it out. And that is Emperor by Navitus, right? Now, my next one, I do have in a small bottle because I end up getting it from someone who, it just wasn't for them. But when I got it, I was like, I love it. So, I love when I can get fragrances like that. And this one here is called Intimus. And again, it's in the old packaging. It's smaller bottle. This is when they used to have the sparkle cap. Uh, so, that show you how long I've been rocking with Navitus, right? This one... And I kind of understood because the person really didn't like citrus, right? Because it does open up with like a mandarin, orange, a lot of bergamot. Um, this one too does have a rose petal note to it, but the rose in it is not predominant, right? It's more mandarin, bergamot, vetiver. It's more of that type of thing, right? And even though it does settle down and give you some sandalwood and some uh, must in it, 
I think they would have enjoyed it only because I know who the person is. They would have enjoyed it more had it had a little more amber to it. This one here does lean more on the citrus side, though it has the citrus in it with a cool breeze. So this is early fall, right? This one would be early fall when the leaves are just beginning to turn brown. They haven't yet made it brown yet. It's kind of cold, but not, not often. You're still kind of teetering back and forth between that summerish heat and then the fall coolness so he hasn't quite made it yet that's where this one would shine in my opinion and it got and, and simply because of the fact that it has that uh mandarin orange in it and mostly it has a lot of bergamot so i can see where this one would actually shine like that early early fall not late fall early fall right now my next one we're going to talk about I really just got this one in my collection. So I truly have not had a good couple of wears with it, but I've had enough to know I am in love. And that is Mall X2, right? This one is that honey one. Oh, you have to love honey. If you do not love honey, then I don't, I'm going to say don't pick this one. Right, and it's been compared to many things, but I think it stands by itself because it has this delectable, engulfing, uh, kind of like pull you in, warm, comforting note. The first note you're going to get again is going to be honey, it's going to be a lot of honey, right? Almost sticky honey. Then you're going to get orange blossom, and then like this creamy, lactonic note. I want, I'm gonna say it's milky, not too milky. This is not like a Blanche Bet uh, Latonic. This is like creamy milk, right? So so that note is more creamy than, than uh, milky, right? But then you have vanilla, you have amber. I am enjoying this one. I am truly, truly enjoying this one. It is so good to me. I'm so happy that I did uh, take the chance and go out and get it. Everybody kept saying it reminded them of so many different things. Tabak, vanilla, um, just so many different things. Tobacco, vanilla, right? It reminded them of if you had, um, uh, which one is it? And I love this one too. But if you had uh, Black Phantom, then you didn't need this one. If you had pure Havana, then you didn't need this one. Truly, I disagree. I think you do need this one in your collection because it was done so beautifully. Even though it does start off with that same honey note, the honey note is not aggressive. It's just always hanging around. This was a win. This was a win for me. So here's to another one. Now this one was another one that I got and I got it on and I and I can't really say I blind bought it um per se, but I think off of just the notes, I got this one. And this is XO Brandy. Oh my god. If you love a good boozy fragrance and you want to start off with one in Navitus line, XO Brandy. I'm telling you, go get it because the opening is just like this intoxicating brandy. It's like a, in a, a luscious note of brandy or cognac, you know, when, when you have it in a glass and it, it's no ice, it's straight like on the rocks, right? So it might have a little ice, but not a whole lot. Uh, that's the note. That's the brandy note. This smells great on me gorgeous on my husband oh my god gorgeous on my husband it's so male chemistry makes this one sing uh you will get this like dark berry note in it uh not too fruity so it doesn't go to like a fruity fragrance but like a dark berry a blackberry uh a blueberry like a dark marberry that's the berry note that's also in it it does have rose, but the rose in it is like a delicate rose. It's just like a note. It's like a like a um, a note that's kind of joining in, but not really like in your face. So I would not get scared with Exo Brandy and saying that it's a rose fragrance because I would disagree to that. But I will say this: 
for a woman to wear this, you have to have confidence because they, you will be stopped. You will be stopped. Uh, it, it demands the room. When you walk in the room, it commands it. It commands the room. You smell so good. This is a nice suit uh, fragrance. Not a summer dress, but a nice suit, like a bold suit dress. You know, like a suit with no shirt under it, which you like the cleavage showing. You spray this EXO brandy right down the middle. That's this one here. Gorgeous. Okay, so this one was new to my collection. And again, I love I love a good chocolate fragrance. So uh, I was not even surprised that uh, I would be in love with it. But I did just get it. So this was someone, I did get it from Macari. Someone had it in their collection, and I guess they didn't really want to uh, keep the fragrance. But me, being that I love chocolate, it was right up my alley. So the one I'm talking about is Chocolate Queen. <sighs> chocolate Queen is very edible. Uh, I would describe this one as a delectable, indulging chocolate scent. It's almost like... This can be worn also in the fall, but I think that this can, can roll into winter, right? Because the chocolate note in it is, is more dark chocolate, not so much milk chocolate, right? But kind of like a dark chocolate note. It begin, it opens up with like this mouth-watering cacao. Like almost like you drink in hot cocoa, right? And then you'll get like this, uh, like when I say dark chocolate, is because dark chocolate has this more velvet sweetness to it than say like a milk chocolate note would have. Uh, it has a touch of creamy vanilla that'll make it a little more creamy, but not, um, not milky. This is not a milky scent. Then you're going to have caramel in it. And then right when you think that, okay, this is a gourmand scent, you know, every, every typical gourmand scent. It, it transitions into like this gorgeous exotic spices. I don't know if the spices are, are uh, cardamom or if it's cinnamon or what those spices are. It can even be nutmeg, right? But it develops into like this exotic spiciness to it. And then it settles on your skin and become real musky. This is a date night scent for me. Now again, keep in mind, I love chocolate. So I probably am truly fascinated with this one because this is a either you love it or not so much fragrance, right? But for me, I'm on the side of love it because whenever I would wear it, when I did get it, I say about a month ago, I got this one and I had been wearing it and wearing it like every time it got cold or kind of cool here in Texas and I loved it. It performed gorgeous. Now, do you? I, I did have the top off. Um, it is not an all day scent, so I did have the top off in it. But I mean, a fragrance that can last on your skin about six hours, I think that's good. I think that's really good, right? And once you get past the chocolate and then you get more into that dry down, then it becomes a, a, a true contender for a fall scent. Okay, the last one that I have that I would say fall. Now, mind you, like I said, I have more than these. But just speaking of fall, again, this is old packaging, right? So this is probably changed to a different package if you see it now. And this one is Soar Exclusive. This was by Big Beard Business uh, around the same time that um, Ebola, it, what was it? Uh, what was the other one here? This gorgeous rose scent. And one day I'm going to bring the rose scent out, right? But this one here to me was like an elegant uh, like an elegant uh party you want you, you will want to wear this one like you want to be it's so sophisticated so elegant it's not the fragrance that you would just throw on just to kind of run to the store this is not a fragrance that you would just i mean you want to go somewhere you can wear fragrances anytime but i think this one you want to go somewhere right with this one because you're going to get this like more it's like a mysterious citrus note i'm trying to i'm trying to pick it up it's i know you get like a 
a, a black currant, a blackberry note to it. Uh, you do get a bit of bergamot in vetiver, but not a lot. This is seriously, this is a jasmine rose fragrance. So it's elegance, it's sophistication in a bottle, right? And then it dry downs to this amber, musty, musky kind of. Oh, it just is it's gorgeous. It's where you would you know when you wear this one, you're gonna leave an impression. You're gonna leave an impression. They're gonna wanna know what you have on. You will be remembered. This could honestly be. For someone who is looking for a signature scent, I think that this could be your signature scent. Um, I don't particularly have one because I love fragrances, so I change my scent up properly every day. Depending on what's going on, I could change it up in the same day. But if you wanted a signature scent, I think uh, Soar Exclusive would be a good one. That would be an amazing one to make as your signature scent. Now, I went over the seven that I have, that I think would be great for the fall. This is where I'm gonna turn it over to you. In the chat, tell me about it. in the comments, what fragrances are you wearing for Navatus? And before you mention it, I have it on the way. It's gonna be that um, Ambrosia Imperial. I have it, it's coming, I promise you, it is coming. I missed the first run of them, the second run. Uh, because every time I thought I was going to go get it, it kept selling out on me, but I got it this time. I did catch the deal of it being coming back and it is on its way. Uh, as of the date of today, I should have it in about two weeks, I think. But, uh, of course I'm going to come back on and I'm going to talk about Ambrosia Imperial as if y'all haven't heard it about, heard enough about it, but... I'm going to tell you my opinion on that. So before you tell me about that one, but if there's any other one that you think or you reach for in the fall by Navitus that I did not mention and you think that I need to add to my collection because so far I have enough that I can change my scent up every single day for a whole month like every week kind of flip them around and I, I love to do that so I'm excited to do that but it does it will not stop me from wanting to get another one this is always amazing to me I love when y'all talk back and forth with me in the comments please do that and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and I'll see you in the next video